Hey guys, Eric Muscle Cars with Eric coming at you again from uh, Bear Jackson here, 2023 auction in Scottsdale, Arizona. And I've got Dave, my new best friend in the whole wide world, and he's a builder of this beautiful 1966 Lincoln Continental convertible suicide door style. So Dave, tell us all about this cool car, man. Okay, so what we got here is a, a resto mod with a Coyote motor and the six-speed automatic transmission. Resto mod, coyote motor, six-speed automatic transmission. It looks like you have two intakes here. Is it, is it normally aspirated or is it supercharged or turbocharged? No, no, it's normally aspirated. Okay, very yeah. nice. Wow, cool. Yeah. And I like the, the heads, yeah, the, the valve covers that, rather. It's a good little touch I put in there. That is pretty cool, man. And, I like uh, that. It has the stock AC box there. Okay. It has the little actuators that run off a module. And it's okay. all computer module, and all the vacuum is eliminated, and everything's electric, even the wipers. That's pretty cool. How did you come across this particular vehicle? And wait a minute, this is a time lot, so there's only two cars at a time lot, both of which happen to be suicide doors. Right, right. How cool is yeah. that? Look at that. Folks, this is going to go Friday, 4 o'clock, time lot, man, oh my god, time slot. How did you come across this vehicle? I, I built it for a guy uh, years ago, and so I, I put on uh, uh, quite a bit of work into it and massaged the interior to make it look, or, uh, the goal was to make it look original with the modern powertrain. Okay, so when you said you massage interior, yeah. I was in the interior a few minutes ago and it is just breathtakingly cool, but it's also huge. I mean, you could, hit, you could sit actually six chicks back there, yeah. and then you and I could sit up front we can cruise Las Vegas Boulevard like nobody's business in this car, right? Right. So when you say you massage it, though, let's get back to the real steel, real yeah, deal. Yeah. So it has uh, instead of the vinyl, uh, it, it has a leather, and then the the heat stamp instead of heat stamp, it, it has the uh, embroidery, and so it's original design but embroidery. Wow. On leather. Now are these original? Yeah, these are original. Okay. Boxes. Very uh, cool. This is, this is reproduction, but. Uh, make it look a lot nicer. And there's just a buttload of room in there, but yeah. imagine, now look at those speakers down there. Those speaker are not, boxes are custom. Right, yeah. right, um, okay. It's hard to put speakers in a, in a car like this because there's no room in the doors. Right, right. There's hardly yeah. any room in the kit cabs. Right, right. Now, this is all original dash, but you said you did have a uh, Dakota digital dash up yeah. there? Okay. All right, but everything else is original on this. How did you get all this stuff to work? I mean, oh, it, it, the wiring in this is just a nightmare. It's, it's there's there's electronics that, that work the uh, the door drop. So so normally when you open the window and the tops up, the windows drop down a little bit to, oh, okay. to make a, a space between the windows. Right. So you keep going open the door. If right. that doesn't drop down, you can't open the back door. Oh, I see. Okay. And, okay. And then the that's never good. Convertible top stuff. Uh, it's all electronics that. I, so I'm how does the convertible top work on this thing? I mean, it's right here. Obviously, it's down. But I mean, does this device go up and back and yeah, this, stuff? Yeah. This flips up, and then the, the top comes up. Okay. And, and, and then it comes back down and covers So up. now how much trunk space is in there with the top down? Top down, there's not a whole lot. It, it's still quite a bit. But Put a dead body with, or two in there? Uh, almost. Almost. A <laughs> small dead body. <laughs> small dead body. And then, okay. and then with the top up, you can put, there's a lot of room. I'll bet there is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Now, is it the original top or did you have to redo the top? No, I, I redid the top. The okay. Everything's pretty much been redone. Is it? Okay. Yeah. All right. Now what about the chassis with the new engine? And transmission. Uh, the the chassis cha was, uh, uh, the frame rails were changed out, the old suspension was taken out, and a new frame rails were put in with a new suspension. What kind of suspension components it, do you have in here? It has, well, it's it's all airbag, but it's on a, a Crown Victoria front end uh, oh, okay. setup. So it's oh, a, wow. kind of a bolt up. So when you, uh, you want to service the motor, you can actually drop the motor down through the bottom. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, That's drop pretty cool. motor and transmission down and work on it. In, in 20 minutes, you have a backup. No kidding. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And who runs your airbags? Uh, it's Actuaire airbags. Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So this is not. Yeah, this is pretty slammed, isn't it? 
Is this as low as it goes? No, it goes to a little bit lower. Okay, but, um, but it's still, I bet you the suspension, I bet the ride is just like a dream, oh, right, isn't it? Oh, right, right, very cushy ride. Really? Yeah, it's, it's not a hard ride at all. That is so very, very cool. I'll tell you, man, this is just an incredible vehicle. And again, all these switches, they're all yeah, original switches. All, all original you switches. You just had to redo all the wiring. Right. Yeah, make sure. I the bet that was a nightmare, wasn't it? Yeah, nightmare. The the switches you got to keep get them clean. The wiring is just really hard to deal with in the whole car. Is it? Yeah. Did you get, did you get a new wiring harness? No, no. You, you have to use it? what it, you just have to clean up the terminals and and just redo that it. That is it's very pretty very robust, tedious, uh, meticulous yeah, work, isn't it? Wiring harness, but it it if you clean it up, it it works. That's pretty cool, and. Now, I know it's a big steering wheel. Is there power, did you add power steering to it, or did it yeah, have power it has, steering? Yeah, it has power steering. All right, so it came stock, yeah. stock with it? Yeah, it came okay. stock okay. with it, but okay. it, this has a rack and pinion steering in it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Instead of the steering box, yeah. so it's a real tight steering. It's a modern steering. Oh, damn, that's pretty neat. This yeah. is really cool. Now, this is this is the same vinyl, yeah, same but it's design. been totally redone. Yeah, same exact you look inside the interior it looks it's just original except for the you know the speaker, speaker boxes. boxes and but everything is pretty much original how long is this vehicle oh uh, gosh is it almost it's almost a city block isn't yeah, it i mean I, you look I, at I this thing number, but it, it is one of the longer lincolns it is definitely. and they only made them um, the suicide doors in 1966 is that right no they made it and started in 61 okay and up through 69 they they stopped making convertibles in 67 okay and then then they started making uh then they were just sedans but they I still had okay. suicide i'll tell you what there's nothing like a convertible lincoln really out there i mean this is just a remarkable car i'm i'm over the top impressed i mean look at this it's kind of like an ab pillar isn't it yep like they yeah. have their removable one there and that's not removable right but that's uh, it's it's well hidden it, it looks good it does yeah. it does and the door shut like a dream how much work did you have to do actually to the to the to the hinges and all the other stuff or yeah, was it pretty lot, tight just to get the doors to match up right was a lot of work i bet it was just, just a lot of work i bet it was but you know what it's worth it You're watching Muscle Cars with Eric. Drive it like you stole it. Hey guys, thanks for watching the last video. I hand selected a couple videos for you to watch right now. Click here.